Look at this artwork. Boom. Boo. Originals. Okay, I'm gonna run in with this. good some staging by Sam we're gonna call it air conditioning right look at this coffee table this was like a feature piece we have the Dom tech hat that Ma uh, that mark spent many many hours wearing building this cabin some antlers that uh, Spencer found I don't know where those are gonna get put yet but uh, some old lures we're probably gonna put some maps beneath here we got some some cool ideas actually I might put a Lake of the Woods map in there right now actually check this out check this out Sam I have an idea Cool, eh? I think a lake though, it's a map in there is pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. This is this is the nicest outpost. I have stayed at some amazing outposts. I know there probably are nicer outposts out there, but and I think what's funny is I heard someone say the other day it's like, oh, Jay's got his own fishing camp now. He's not gonna want to go visit other fishing camps and lodges. That's the exact opposite. I love visiting new places. Uh, I don't feel like I'm competing with those other lodges. You gotta stay at a different place for a different reason. If you want the full meal deal. Uh, five star linens changed every day. That's what I like. This isn't, this isn't that place. If you want to do it yourself style, you still be guided. You know, Spencer will be on site a lot of the time. Well, then this is the right fit. But yeah, I still think that every cabin has its own niche. And I'm just excited that, you know, we have one of those places. Yeah, we gotta keep working. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I can live here. Fire! Fire! You will notice a lot of personal touches in this cabin. Most of the photography is by, <coughs> by me. This picture uh, sat above my bathroom in Gretna. And now it's here at Uncle Mark's outpost, above the toilet as well. It's the toilet picture. It's the toilet picture. It makes you want to pee. Um, we got to scrub this a little more. And then shower curtains getting hung up. All right, Sambo. Hey, oh, that looks so good. Do you like it? Yeah. That looks great. Pizza break. How much time we have, Sam? Three hours? Two hours? Mm -hmm. Probably two and a half hours till Paul shows up. We're close, but it will be down to the wire. Paul's delayed. Luckily, Paul's delayed by construction right now. So we'll see. All right, just some finishing touches. Look at this. It looks like a fighting octopus. If you look at it head on, it looks like an inebriated boxing octopus. Think about that next time you look at one of those. I feel a little bit emotional. Like this has been uh, the most expensive venture of my life. Yeah, I don't know, it's been stressful, but looking back on these videos is gonna be a pretty wild experience in five, 10, 15, 20 years. I'm trying to be emotional, Mark. Get all right. Good times with Uncle Mark. I'm actually taking Mark on a flying fishing trip later this summer as a small thank you for how great a man he is. Just don't let it go to his head. So this three seasons room, as you can see, didn't get finished. Got a touch of siding to do. We got the electrical up there. We need to, you know, close this in. We're gonna do pine, some plywood on top. Honestly, this is more of like a wintertime room, 
fall time, I think fall time, this is where you're gonna wanna spend a lot of time. Summer right now, it is just a sweaty mess in here. Um, I think for the cooler days, it'd be more ideal. So obviously we wanted to get this done. We are gonna get it done probably in the next few days, but definitely in the heat of summer, you wanna be inside in the air conditioning when you're not out fishing and doing, or on the deck, so. Yeah, this will get finished. We got some hooks on, this is gonna be for life jackets. We've got a lot of life jackets, which is included because it's important and you need to legally have it in your boat. You should be wearing one anyways. Yeah, we'll hang a bunch of life jackets on here. We have them hanging on the side in the sun before, but that will degrade them eventually, so. A life jacket for when you wanna bring your baby. Boom. That's great. More artwork on the wall. Nice little uh, shield sunset by yours truly. There's gonna be some little trim pieces going in the corner too, but nice green, green linens here. Helix beds, all oh, these are comfy. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, the last couple of weeks have been crazy. But here we are. Oh. Well, we're setting out a little thank you gift for our first group. I will see them later in the week. I'll probably do a fishing video with Paul and the guys, but uh, a little gift for the crew. We got the catch and cook lineup so they can enjoy it out here. <laughs> Jay, what are you doing? We're just queuing up the playlist. Oh. <laughs> We're just going to put up a little cabin off grid, no cell service. You can come here and detox. <laughs> From the bottom of my small, cold black heart. Thank you. Final thoughts, Jay, as you're pulling away? Uh, you can do anything you set your mind to, just got to believe. If you have an Uncle Mark and a lot of people that help. This isn't really the end yet. There'll be there'll be some more chapters. This isn't it.